it was clear to me that the, the pain that I was experiencing was not going to, to succeed unless I figured a way to find what's the gift inside of this craziness that I've got myself into. My life was breathlessly painful day after day. And I, in order to get my, myself out of that pain, I needed to ask the question, how can I possibly take what has happened to me and actually begin to turn that into a gift of some kind? And eventually what we found out in the research is that actually that appears to be one of the number one tools that high performance use, that every time life throws shit at them, one of the ways that they know how to quickly recover to the positive place that gets them to their highest performance is ask the question, how do I turn this into a gift and opportunity? The question of how do I take everything into a gift and opportunity is, is one that allows you, uh, when, when things don't go according your, your way, by, that, by the way, life does to you every other day, every other hour of every other day, as things don't go your, go, on your, go, go your way, you are at a fork in the road. And the fork in the road, either your saboteurs are going to come in and say, shit, 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 we're screwed. <laughs> or your sage is going to come in and say, you know what? I can turn this into a gift and opportunity. And whichever fork you take, uh, whichever you do in this fork in the road becomes a self-fulfilling reality. That's the power of this, that whichever of these perspectives you bring becomes a self-fulfilling reality. So think about if you're in the middle of the most important project of your life and mistakes and failures are happening by you and others. If the saboteurs come in and say, God damn it, this is terrible, this is awful, we've got to fix this, we're in trouble. And with that energy as you're running a team, you have shifted everybody in the first 30 seconds to their saboteurs. And within that vortex of negativity you have created, everybody's brain has gone to survival brain which is not very creative, which is not very resourceful, which is just watching its ass, not really going to come up with what's going on and to improve things as much as you could. But if you say, you know what, mistakes and failures have occurred and we can turn this into a gift and opportunity, you become curious, you become compassionate, you become empathic to yourself and others. Being in this trouble together, the curiosity is going to bring out a lot more information about how do you fix this thing now, and your brain stays in the positive region of the brain, the, the PQ region of the brain, so that you actually have access to your creative powers. So you will actually take a mistake and failure and figure out how to turn it into an opportunity, not because it will automatically become so, but because it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you believe that, you activate the parts of your brain in yourself and others around you that will figure a way how to make that a gift and opportunity.